Hi guys, this is the first showcase for the DirectX 11 graphics demo that I've been working on in my spare time. This project is still a work in progress and so I'll be releasing more videos each time I implement a new feature. The lighting in the scene consists of a single point light which acts as the sun by orbiting the globe. As I move the view around slightly you can see the specular highlights catching on the glass globe and the the surface of the pond. All the models in this scene I've created using 3ds Max and exported them in OBJ format. The application uses the OBJ files to read in each mesh and each, me each OBJ file has a corresponding MTL file to provide the material information and texture for each subsection the model contains. The smoke rising from the chimney is created by a particle system. All the work here is done on the GPU using two shader passes. The first, a stream out pass, controls the initial position and velocity of the particles in addition to killing off old particles and creating new ones whenever the system requires. All this is done in the geometry shader. This pass skips the pixel shader as it's not rendering anything. Uh, these, this pass streams all the vertex information back to the vertex buffer which is used for the second pass. This render pass calculates the new position and velocity of each particle and then will render each particle to the scene. I have added fog to this scene uh, which has been implemented in the shader by blending the colour of each pixel with a grey fog colour. The amount of fog is determined by the distance between the camera and the pixel in question. The code is able to set a hard cap on how thick the fog can be, which is how the fog fades in and out of the scene, as it's just done now. The shadows here, it's the last feature in this demo, are planar shadows. These are created by rendering a flattened version of each object onto a plane. Uh, the main drawback of this method is that these shadows will only really work on a flat surface 